don't about people don't even play that i already heard it like that because last time they were like why are you playing that in the background and answering i'm not gonna answer no. directly to none of that i just want to say what up <laughs> what up job and steph what up y'all it's a saturday night 8 59 i'm out here and he's inside mm. you know that the lies are getting outrageous like i kind of stepped back and i left this man alone because i spoke my truth that's what it was a lot of y'all want to be like oh she's clout chasing la 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 bro i could have been doing you know what i mean like i could have been every day on my live talking shit. i could have been on my story every day talking shit. i have not been doing that because i'm not giving it I have not given it that energy that he's been wanting to get from me. He keeps trying to call me. He keeps trying to contact me, send his shadow, send it all Dallas to try and get a hold of me. I don't want to talk to you, bro. For what? What is there to talk about? You're lying on my name. You're sitting here lying. And I feel like now he's lying even more because I won't answer his call. So now he's like, what can I do? I can slander her. What can I do? I can sit here and lie on her and make all these people believe all these outrageous things about her. When it's like, you know you lying, bro. Exactly. He know I got that fire. If he didn't think I had that fire, he wouldn't have put Murderland out. He wouldn't have put the remix out. You know? If he didn't think, you he know. Said he, he said you was trash on here. Yeah, my wax album. That's why you tried to steal it? That's why you tried to steal it? Shut the f*** up. Like, ugh. Like, this man is just in that f***ing cell beating his head against the rail because he has nothing better to do and all that anger and all that disappointment for his own life he wants to take it out on a lopez and tell all these lies like no bro the only one lying here is you i have nothing to lie about for what for what 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 the fuck i gotta lie about i was perfectly fine before i entered a dope house you know what i'm saying i was perfectly fine before i even stepped foot in there and if i'd have known the bull that comes with being at the dope house, I would have never, never. He says, I begged for a job, relax, okay? Your son offered me the job and you called me Monday. I don't know where the f I begged for the job, but I got the job, yeah, twenty two fifty an hour. Yeah, I was running his retail store. Yes, I was working there, but he wanted an artist and a retail store worker for twenty two fifty. No, sir. And then he tried to steal my album. And now he's saying that I conspired all this shit with my broke ass manager when really I didn't start getting managed by Mo until after I started working at fucking Dope House. You know what I'm saying? Like the only manager that ever tried to do anything sly was Sambo. Sammy. He's calling them Sammy now because they're all in cahoots. They're all in good favor. They're all sucking each other's dicks now. <laughs> when really, Sambo is the one that tried... The album was never 10K. They were shopping it to Dope House for 10K. Because that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to sell it for 10K. Okay, cool. But that was not my price. That was not what Manic agreed with me. Manic said 2,500. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. It's like, he's saying, oh, I owed them 10K. I didn't owe them shit, bro. I didn't owe them anything. Because Sambo dropped me. When you drop me, you no longer want to conduct business. That means there's no business to be conducted. Point blank, period. You drop me. Okay? And then Manic said, because I called Manic after Sambo dropped me. And I said, Manic, what are we doing? He said, well, if I were to charge you for the album, it would be $2,500. I said, okay, I can pay you down. I can pay you down, you know? He said, don't worry about paying me down. Bring another $2,500 to the table, right? So, Mannix put in $2,500 as far as that's what he values the album at, the work that he put in, and I'm supposed to match those $2,500 with videos, marketing, promotion, da 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 And I'm not going to sit here, like, like, SPM sits here and be like, oh, she's broke, she's broke. 
that's all you got to say about Lopez is that I'm broke? Like, okay, what do you want? I'm a mother of four. <laughs> broke? No, never broke. Might be struggling a little bit. Fuck yeah, but my bills are paid. My girls are good. My girls are fed, baby. I'm not a broke bitch. So please, fix your mouth and respect me because I'm a mother. No drama, okay? Second of all, like I said, I didn't owe manic shit because he said that's, that was the deal, right? 2500 but don't pay me that, Lopez. Bring another 25 to the table. So I'm like, okay. That's what we were going to do. And that's what we were doing. And so it was 50-50. He didn't own the album completely. We were 50-50. So the fact that they never even asked about my album from me. They never asked me about anything. And he's like, oh, she tried to convince me that the album. No, I didn't try and convince you about shit. I didn't even know you were trying to buy it until the songs were getting were already getting pulled down. So that's where I'm like, bro, you're lying. You're a fucking liar. And a narcissist. That's what I have him in at, on my phone. So that way, when that man calls me, <laughs> I know exactly what the fuck it is and what time it is. Everybody else wants to sit here and act like they don't know what time it is with that dude. Fuck all of that. I know exactly what time it is. And if I'm under fire, whatever. People want to hate, cool. Let them. Because at the end of the day, I'm not doing anything but speaking my truth and living my life and living my truth. You get what I'm saying? I'm a hustler. I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna. It's a day to day thing. Fuck yeah, it is. I'm sorry. I don't have <laughs> dope house money. No, no, uh, dope but don't don't sit here and make it seem like I was trying to take your money. Like I have sticky fingers. Fuck out of here. I've never been, never been a thief. Never been anyone without integrity. Anyone that you can ask about working with Lopez, it's always been that very professional, very integrity driven, very much transparent. Whereas this man was not and never has been with anyone that he's worked with in the past. So let's not sit here and negate all of that. You get what I'm saying? But now, oh, Lopez is the one that did all this shit to you? Bro, sit down. You ain't nobody to be stealing from. What? You ain't nobody to be stealing from. I worked with you at one point because I thought it was a mutual agreement. We was business partners. I thought we was really. But no, that man doesn't respect women. A woman empowerment <laughs> what are you talking about the only thing you've ever done is keep the women around you under your thumb every single one of them all the way down every single one of them he's kept them under his thumb and what he couldn't do with lopez so now what he's gonna slander my name now he's gonna say all this that in the third now oh lopez is a thief she got thicky fingers oh she did this that in the third bro anyone that knows me and knows my character knows damn fucking well you're full of shit Okay, because if I was really trying to hit a lick and come up, then I'd be up, right? I'd have all this bread, right? Because I, I, I took, I, you know, I got them. No, bro, because it was never that. It was never that. The ones that came up, the ones that got, they won was Manic and Sambo, like they wanted to from the very beginning. Okay, and I was just a pawn in all of that. That's all I was in that. And I've been minding my business with my girls working. Okay, doing what the f I need to do, not on the socials, not sitting here going back and forth with this man. And he's sitting here wasting all his time and energy editing videos and making sure he's got to come back for Lopez when I've left you alone already, sir. So, hazme el, hazme el pinche favor y déjame en paz, hijo de puta. Ya. Porque ya es ya. All right? Because I can end it all tomorrow. Like, get with your daughter. <laughs> Get with your daughter and leave me alone.